Man, I I had to come out and get some more firewood for the fireplace and whoo is it a snowy blizzard out there. Hopefully we don't get uh snowed in here. And I have to say I had the worst nightmare. This thing this thing was right by my bedside staring at me just with his hat cocked his and looking down upon me oh man it just gave me shivers and it just woke me up I just had to make sure that thing was still out there and wasn't in the house you know that when you have that nightmare where you just uh, you run around the house with a gun just to make sure your nightmare wasn't real or something supernatural wasn't trying to tell you something. Yeah, that's basically what I thought. But let's get to bed. I need to get some more Z's. You, snowman, stay out here. Well, uh, it didn't stop snowing, but at least we got some, uh, Z's in us, and at least we got, I got a good night's sleep after my, uh, nightmare of Frosty over there. Whew. But, uh, you know this, uh, blower or whatever runs kind of just puts you right to sleep. So I got some coffee. I am ready to go look snoop around. I mean, I have been looking forward to this for days. That's why I drove here. I've had my eye on what this is over here. What is this old Chevrolet work truck? Yeah, well, I don't think that is worth moving. It's definitely seen its day, but whoo! Beautiful truck. Looks like it's more of a rat and mouse home now than back on the road. It's definitely got some scars and some rust. Twisted Twine Farms, huh? Now that is definitely not old. Old inter or uh, international truck. Not that old. I mean, it's not new either. It depends on who's saying old or new. Old Twin Axle. I don't I think, I think, uh, pretty sure Jim said that this, just leave this alone, so I think his brother wants this for the next farmhand or something that comes by. Let's see what we got in all these buildings. I, is this, uh, old milk barn here? Yeah, looks like a milk barn that's all locked up on us. Uh, this door isn't locked. Got a gate. Yep. It's like an old cabin barn or milk barn. Yeah, this place is nice. Shut this up. Wanted to go on top of this barn. And see if there's anything in it. And empty. Nothing to see here. Oh, I guess there was a ladder right there ladder down yeah so I know the last uh, retirement so the last person that farmed this uh, actually ended up uh, selling off a lot of his good equipment uh, some of his equipment he just kept around because he thought he was going to uh, basically that basically had some uh, nostalgic to them. Now these are some old grain bins here. I don't think you want to put any grains. I mean, this one right here is leaning into the other one. Probably not a good idea. It looks like the rust is just about through them too. We got out over here. Got an old uh, tireless uh, international McCormick. Hmm. Seen its day. 
Yep, there was my bathtub. I was looking for you. Just joking. Look like somebody, uh, either this, uh, rusted out or somebody hit it. One of the two. I don't think it holds any gasoline anymore. Well, that's an old tractor. Not sure what that tractor is. Alright, these barns are empty. Oh, now this is not old. You know, let's see, I wonder, see, uh, you don't really see a lot of these challengers, man. I would not mind having this on the farm. Kind of like these old challengers. the keys in this because this might help us with these big snow because I was kind of don't know if we could get to some of his back buildings with that uh, dodge hopefully the keys are in here let's see yep we're just right up in that cubby hole shoved in let's see oh yeah even with this snowy weather it still starts up looky there so this might come in handy especially if we see what was supposed to be around here anyways all right so I just wanted to make sure just so I don't have to call a, a tow company if I get stuck because oh I forgot the headlights don't want to have them uh, come in a have to go tow me out so I think I'm gonna unhitch the the gooseneck or actually yeah I'm gonna unhitch it from now better let this uh, diesel warm up a little bit hopefully I could turn that gooseneck around I just and then face it straight going out here and yeah no, I'll just park it there. Yeah. And then I'll take the Dodge and go snoop around their back buildings there, or their barns, whatever they are. Alright. Let's make sure we can drive. Oh. Oh, man. You're gonna get stuck here? Come on, old Cummins. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Well... Gonna have to unhitch it here, even though that wasn't really the plan. Unpin this here quickly. Lower the tailgate. There we go. Alright, so... We got out of that. Let's see where we need to go now. Man, maybe I should have brought my uh, little Honda side-by-side. -side. Didn't, wasn't really planning. I mean, it wasn't snowing in Oregon, so I was just planning on it. Not snowing in Iowa, but you know, uh, that wasn't very smart of me, I guess. I should have checked the weather. I should have definitely checked how long it was going to be. How long the drive was going to be. No trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. I thought it said violators will be shot on spot. That's the sign I would have put up there. What do we got over here? Well, uh, this truck has definitely seen its day. Looks like we got uh, about 30 years of tires on the farm here. Lizard. Haven't heard of a lizard uh, harvester. Sounds like one of them, uh, that Giants company. Uh, surprise. I didn't think these were American. But might have not had problems getting parts for it. That's why it's uh, basically a uh, rear axle is broken and in the dirt. All right. I saw a building back here, yep. Got this uh, 
old barn back here. Some hay bales over here. Come on, birds. What are you doing in the middle of the snow? There's some weird birds over there. Somebody is hunting back here. Or I hope somebody didn't already snoop by, snoop through these uh, barns because somebody's. There's definitely tracks all around here. So, uh, yeah, they definitely use this barn for storage of hay. A lot of hay bales. Let's see, is this open? Nope. So I got some keys that Jim told me where they're at in the house, so... Where did I put them? Alright, there they are. Open up this chain. All right, what do we got in here? Uh, Connex, that's empty. Table saw, some concrete mix. Every size pipe you might need. Some scrap metal. Some. Man, you mu they must have been uh, connoisseurs of uh, dirt bikes or something. That's a lot of dirt bike tires. Okay. Well, that's uh, nothing worth uh, taking back. That's for sure. I'll shut this up here. Alright, undo this chain. What we got here? Hmm. Hmm. Gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. I'm not seeing anything really worth anything. I think it's easier to go in that other door, maybe? Got a lot of... Ooh, looks like grass hay here. Yeah. Really got a lot of grass hay around here. Alright. I guess we got some picnic tables. Don't think Jim's gonna be too excited about that. Uh, we got a table saw. We got some connexes. Anything in here? All right, we got some empty connexes. One connex at least. Uh, some cement mix. Some bricks. Some mortar. Uh, we got some firewood. All of this is uh, not worth taking back, by the way. Hmm. Hmm. Scoop through this uh, feed trough here. Is there anything in here? No. Wow. That looks like a wasted trip so far. I got some scrap. I don't know what that is, a blower? Wasted. I mean, if we wanted grass hay, we got plenty of that, but it's not why we drove across a couple states for. Let's just say that. Alright, well, I'm gonna lock this back up. Shoot! Have to call Jim. I don't know what he was talking about. All right, so uh, Jim said there's actually another barn in the back of this somewhere. There should be. So he was kind of upset with his brother. Ended up having to call his brother. Uh, his brother's like, "Yeah, it's the far back barn." I'm like, "Ah, oh. I guess I could have just followed the tracks back there." Uh-oh. Man. Well, I think I'm stuck. Oh, shoot! Oh, well, I'm just gonna leave this here then. So, Jim told us to go back in this barn. Got another barn in the back here. Man, I should have wore my winter boots. I'm just walking around here with tennis shoes like an idiot. I don't know what's wrong with me. 
old uh, barn here, I guess. Alright, does this same key work? Yep. Well, all I see is uh, hay bales and some some big uh, farm... What would you call this? I don't know. Some metal box? I don't know. Yeah. So anything behind this door? Let me unchain this. Alright, slide that. Oh ho ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! Oh! Now the this this is this is worth driving for hours and hours and hours. Whoo! What do we got here? What in the heck? This this thing definitely has seen a Fordson. Fordson has some old uh, man. This 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 is gonna be. I'm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take this, if nothing else. I mean, this is an old uh, crank start. I don't know a lot about these tractors, to be honest. But, I mean, this would be some nice, uh, uh, let's just say lawn art, I guess, if nothing else. I mean, I mean, look at that. It's got to be seized. There, there's no way this is not seized. Uh, it's definitely seen its day, but man... And that's almost a tractor that's a few lifetimes away. It's not just one uh, generation farmer. It's a three generation farmer. So kind of impressive. It's stayed back here. Man, this looks almost looks like it should be in a museum. Beautiful. And it's not, other than uh, full of rust, it's not that bad a shape. Yeah, this 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 is definitely going on the trailer. What we got over here? Okay, we got another uh, iron tire tractor, a McCormick Deering. Ooh, what? Uh, it's got an old metal seat on it. Huh? Old uh, crank start here in the front. Let's see if this turns over. Huh. It's not seized, at least. Uh, I don't even know where to check the oil. I gotta take this panel off, maybe? Uh, you definitely want to check the oil to see, make sure this thing is, uh, uh, not empty. Don't, yeah. I don't even think it's worth, uh, starting. I think it's good. That we have that uh, challenger because I can just use that challenger to probably get these out of here. I got some big random pile of snow right in front of my door too. Oh, got a little Ford now. What, what are these called? So I've always seen these uh, gray, gray and red. I guess I think old Ford tractors. So my grandpa used to work on these old Ford tractors or. Used to sell and work on them back in the day before he ended up driving bus, but they've always had something special in my heart. I'm gonna basically try to beg Jim for this. I don't know what this is worth, but this this is uh, this has definitely got a little uh, heritage in my book to me. I wouldn't mind having this old Ford tractor, old Ford 8N. So, I mean, if anything, these make just a good tractor to be around the farm to mow or, to me, just to have enjoy. Well, the battery isn't dead, which is pretty ex surprising, to be honest. So, so yeah, going to have to figure out. Definitely taking that back home, and I'm definitely begging a gym for that. But this is what I had my eye on, a Super M. So, uh, my dad always told me stories, so they had multiple of these uh, farm owls, uh, uh, McCormick farm owls on the farm. So, M's, forget Model A's, they had them all. And 
I've always wanted one basically just because never really drove one in person but my dad used to tell me stories of him drive him basically driving them his, all his brothers sisters driving them and everything they used to do with these old tractors on the farm they they had probably 10 of them at least you know m's a's all over so narrow fronts wide fronts always wanted my, one myself just because of it but gonna i'm definitely gonna beg jim for this super m and this this ford here maybe even that truck but we'll get to that later but man let's see well not gonna start the battery must be dead in it or something steering works let's try to crank this crankshaft to make sure it's not seized yeah it's not even seized here so hmm man really I, I hope I get that I mean if to be honest just because it's my dad I would if he only is gonna give me one I want the farmel but man I would like to have both of these and oh I would like to have this truck now this truck really doesn't fit with all these old uh, tractors so it's a little bit uh, we call it newer D different generation I guess maybe license plate has a veterans Cherokee Nation license plate hmm has old Bradfield built a uh, box on the back or a flatbed I mean I I don't know what it is but it seems like I find these all over the place but this has a fairly good suspension I mean look at the the frame looks better than the cap I just want one of these trucks and out of all of them I've found recently this is a my, my top truck uh, I know uh, I usually don't like lifted trucks but something about this truck just makes me want it and I guess it's just because of the it's almost military somebody must have got out and ended up uh, purchasing this truck and probably just couldn't keep up with it or something because I mean it has an LED light bar has a fairly new lifted kit but you know it, it looks you know the star on the side it's definitely almost militarized so looks like 8 to 1982 maybe but man I would love to have this truck. I wish I can open up the hood to see what it has in there. Man, tears. Macklin. It's like one of them sleeper trucks. Key. Oh, look at that. Keys are in it. What? First crank. Did you see that? Ooh, I have to have this truck. I don't know if this is going to fit on the trailer or not, but man, do I have to have this truck. I just got to have this truck taking this truck home with me. Man, so many things. I mean, Jim really messed up by sending me. Right? Let's turn this off so I can check the oil before I uh, just leave it blow up the engine like that. I need to check the oil and the water and all the fluids, apparently, but man. All right, so, hmm, 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 what should we do? Think I'm gonna go run back, get that Challenger. I'm gonna basically uh, push my truck so it gets unstuck. I don't. I'm gonna have to basically haul all these old tractors to the roadway here with the Challenger. Just to push them around because, uh, and then I'll, I'll load them up on the trailer over here on the road because uh, I know I won't because I got stuck just not even pulling the trailer. Stuck with that, uh, with a whole bunch of tractors on the back of that thing. So, yeah, because I mean, look at that, that, this ditch right here. So, I'm gonna get get the challenger over here and uh man 
wish I could find a hitch for that gooseneck for the Challenger so I could just pull that back, but I didn't see one when I was snooping around, so I don't think I have one, but... Man, we're gonna have to figure out some way, so... At least I have this thing running here, so this one's gonna make my life way easier. Okay, we'll get into this. And maybe I can, well, you know, I bet what I could do is uh, start scooping off these roads. And then uh, I could possibly get back there a trailer because the the ground below it is uh, unthawed or not unthawed is frozen basically all right so plan is I'm going to clear off this road I I don't think I can clear off all the way back there because that'll take forever so I'm just gonna use this I'm gonna pull each of the tractors to the roadway I uh, pull out my truck park the truck over here by the roadway and I'll use this to basically get the truck unstuck help get everything undone there so and then hopefully I'll be able to get enough run and start with all that extra weight on the back of the trailer to be able to get out of this out of Dodge here and back to Oregon. So yeah, this will this is definitely a lifesaver having this tractor there. Alright, so the road is cleared off. Don't need to clear this off that'll take forever and it's still snowing so the best thing to do when you're by yourself you don't have no one to help you and you got another truck just get a few tires get them between you and the back of your uh, basically loader here and we are just going to push this uh, truck out tires put up here all right got a few tires now, push this out. There we go. Yeah, come on. Push that old girl out. All right. Let's dump these tires out over here. I think the truck will be good right there. So at least go back. I'm going to clear out the front of this doorway and then start uh, pulling these tractors out of here. So, I got them all on there. I wouldn't recommend anyone doing this because, uh, let's just say, uh, pretty unique. I think I'm gonna have to readjust that McCormick deering. Looks like it's teetering a little bit too much, but, uh, you can tell, uh, I basically got used every available spot I basically could on that trailer. But we are ready to head that to Oregon after a whole bunch of chaining it down. So, good thing I brought a ton of chains. Wouldn't mind even bringing this old Challenger, but I'm going to have to talk to Jim about this thing. But, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you later. Here in, uh, Iowa, Oregon, uh, I don't know. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.